NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3090 is more or less looking to become the flagship offering in the Ampere Gaming lineup, which will be unveiled on September 1st. But real quick, a word from our sponsors. This video is brought to you by HP and their NVX360 and Omen 15. Whether you're looking for a lightweight notebook featuring AMD's Renoir-powered 7 nanometer mobile processors or a frame rate turning Intel 10th gen CPU with an NVIDIA 16 series graphics card solution, HP has you covered on both flavors. Follow the link in the description for excellent savings. Now now, while we wait, the rumor mill has become a heated place with various leaks and tech outlets giving their own prediction regarding the RTX 3090 pricing. The latest rumors come from WJM47196, who has a history of leaks and rumors that turned out to be true, and he's posted over on the Chip Hell forum that Nvidia's GeForce RTX 3090 is going to feature a starting price of $1,000. $399 US. Now this is a $200 price bump over the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti, which had a price of $1,199 for the, the Founders Edition. And it is stated that the starting price of the Founders Edition of the GeForce RTX 3090 could cost an extra $100 that would put the price of the card at $1,499, unless the $1,399 is the additional $100, which means it could start at $12.99. I don't know. This is this is kind of all over the place right here, but it, essentially $1,400 is about the center price point for the RTX 3090. Now, the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti, for comparison, had variants starting at $999 US, and that they were there, very few of them, but custom designs went all the way up to $1,999 US. Now, NVIDIA was asking a $200 US premium for the Founders Edition variant of the RTX 2080 Ti, while the RTX 3090 may have a $100 US premium for its own Founders Edition variant. Now, the base price would be pretty high, apparently starting at $1,399. And if we compare that to the rumored base price of the GeForce RTX 3090 with the base price of the RTX 2080 Ti, you can see a bump of around 40%. Now, that of course, Founders Edition pricing would be a 25% jump over Turing, but the main reason for this price bump could be associated with the massive amounts of GDDR6X VRAM that the 3090 incorporates. While the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti featured 11 gigabytes of GDDR6, the GeForce RTX 3090 is expected to feature an insane 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory. And that's more than 2x the memory buffer, which operates at a much higher clock rate for higher bandwidth, along with a wider bus too. Now the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 is going to make use of the GA102 GPU core, which is rumored to deliver up to 40 to 50% performance jump over the RTX 2080 Ti. Now the GeForce RTX 3090 will be the king of the hill for NVIDIA and they are definitely going all out with the insane specifications, hence the pricing has also gone up. However, this causes some concern in the enthusiast segment as we can get custom variants that might cost north of $1,500. Now another rumor from the Chip Hell forum via Tech Power Up this time details the expected price point of the GeForce RTX 3090 lineup from Colorful. Now the Chinese graphics card manufacturer is known to have, first have some insane graphic card designs and this rumor could be linked to the PCB of the RTX 3090 which is also rumored to be a colorful custom graphics card as well. Now, according to the rumor, Colorful is prepping at least three variants of the GeForce RTX 3090 graphics card, which include the Vulkan X, the Vulkan XOC, and the Neptune D. The Vulkan series will make use of a premium custom design with air cooling, while the Neptune D card will obviously make use of water cooling designs. Now, in terms of pricing, the GeForce RTX 3090 Vulkan X is expected around $2,000 US, while the Vulcan OC is looking around $2,300 and the Neptune D is looking at $1,900. Now given the tax and rebates of the Chinese market, the actual pricing of these cards could be around $1,600, $1,800 and $1,500 US respectively. But regardless, we're less than two weeks away from finding out something concrete. So definitely looking forward to that. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.